And now we have to make a quick walk around for the aircraft before we depart. I know it's a brand new aircraft, 787-9, with sustainable fuel, but also we have to make a walk around. To check everything here, the pitted and the angle of attack. Then we go to the bay, of the wheel well bay, to check everything, no leaks and everything is okay. You see here the red light for parking brake set, already set. All doors are closed, no scratches, nothing. Usually the cargo door is open, but now it's closed already. And we check here the negative relief valve. Here are the packs of the aircraft. Now we can go to the wheel well area and the wheels. It's beautiful here. We are putting them, no leaks inside the wheel well. Wheels are good, no scratches. We go to the engine. Nice, beautiful engine, first light, no scratches, no marks, no leaks, very important, no leaks. And here are the fan, beautiful, everything good, the Kruger flaps, everything. Long time ago we used to check the landing lights and this stuff, but nowadays, no. We go back here, everything okay, no scratches, no leaks, nothing. Check this door is closed, door number three, right door, and door number four, also everything is okay. Cargo handling controls in, the cargo door is closed, everything is okay. Now we go for the stabilizer and the vertical fin, just to charge, free, anything, no leaks. Here we are going down right under the APU, everything is good, beautifully free. All panels are closed, no leaks. Cargo door. Number five in this aircraft is on the left side. Now here down under, check the rat, ram air turbine, it is closed. It's here on the right side, that is secured, no leaks. And we check the engine from the backwards. I can go all the way, but no need today. Useful aircraft, first flight. So I think everything is okay. Big engine, huh? No leaks, nothing. Very important. No leaks on the tail. Beautiful. Again, static. Another static. And we go the big one, the, the, the upper one in the angle of attack. That's good. We're done here. Maintain 3000. Departure frequency 128.5. Squawk 6622. Need to station uh, uh, Cairo via pin 6, then asphalt. 3000 feet initial altitude. Departure frequency is uh, 128.5. And our squawk today will be 6622. Thirty three thirty heavy, read back correct, thank you. You're welcome. Cairo Airport. Twenty eight eighty request clearance. Uh, paint six Resident departure, three thousand feet six. initially. And the departure frequency is one to eight decimal five. Scope is six six two two. And for the camera, hi, welcome aboard. Uh, we're starting our flight back to Cairo. Thirteen hours flight. Just sit uh, back and relax. Enjoy the flight with us. And each two three 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 zero. This is Boeing. Ever go ahead. Uh, we are uh, requesting uh, pushback clearance. Uh, Roger that. Say souls on board. Forty-five. Souls on board is uh, forty-five. Uh, copy that. Forty-five. Four-five on board. You're clear to push back and tow to the south gate. Uh, once at the south gate, you can uh, start your engines at the discretion of your ground crew, and ground is one to uh, one to one decimal eight when you're ready for taxi. Uh, that, uh, clear to push back facing uh, south gate, and after that, we are clear to start the engines by uh, advice with the ground crew, and when ready for taxi, one to one eight is the triple three zero. Roger, that's a good copy on all. Have a good flight. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye bye. See you again. Uh, ground from Cockpit. Go ahead, flight deck.
Uh, we are clear to push and tow to the south gate. Copy, south gate. Okay, flight deck ground. Two, nine, four, Boeing, ever copy, ten minutes. That's ground, go ahead. Uh, we're going to go ahead and connect tug and lift you if you're clear for that. Yeah. Flight deck, this is ground. We're going to go ahead and pull the four main gear pins. Okay, go ahead. Flight deck, this is ground. Can you please remove brakes? Parking brakes released. Steering lockout. Flight deck, this is ground. We're clear to push. Clear to push. South gate. Pass by a couple of triple seven X's on the left side. What does Boeing people call the triple seven X? They call it the boss. And it's the boss. Okay, well we we will be taken off uh, runway three four left. And we will be maintaining northern heading straight out, climbing up to 3,000 feet, and then we'll be vectored en route. Those two aircraft are, are scheduled for uh, first test flights within maybe uh, within a month. Only Boeing pilots are allowed to taxi within 
the Boeing terminal. So they have to tow us out of the uh, tarmac, Boeing tarmac. So we can start our engines and then we taxi yeah, by ourselves. Taxi they will take us to this stop bar where we will start our engines and then we taxi by ourselves. We expect to taxi left and alpha all the way down all the way to the rolling point. Yep. All, all short uh, will be alpha one zero. Yep. So this is the south gate out of Boeing apron into the airport. Over there is the Dreamlifter where they uh, transport the uh, big parts of the aeroplanes this one yeah. over there flight deck this is ground please apply the brakes parking brakes set and we are ready to start anytime whenever you are okay first we'll disconnect the tug and then we have to remove the nose gear pins just met, let me know when you're ready roger that Flight deck, this is ground. We have six pins off to your left. One, two, three, four, five, six, six pins inside. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Flight deck, this is ground. Clear to start engines. Thank you. We're starting both engines. Starting right. Start right and left. Starting left. Southgate. And we have rotation. Peak 7 starting yeah. in the south gate. It'll be a short wait. Okay. We'll wait. And we have ignition. We're at Boeing uh, 294 Heavy. Would it be helpful to come in the uh, North gate, taxi all the way down. Uh, Roger, if you would like to use the north gate just to uh, get in here earlier and get out of the way of ground, then that's fine. Um, it's really up to you. It's your discretion. We don't have anything else after that 8-7. Yeah, since they're north flow, he's going to be wanting to taxi this way too. So. Yeah, let's get that north gate uh, light turned green if you don't mind. So, Roger that you're clear north gate and we'll get the light changed. Thanks. Light running. Left both running. Engines running. Okay, ground. Uh, both engines start uh, normal. Remove the ground equipment and give me clearance from left side. Okay, uh, clean engine start. I'll uh, be leaving uh, off to your left. Thank you. Have a great flight. Uh, Thank you very much. We'll take the clearance flight control. Oh, it's not done. Okay. Let's check. Okay, clearance flight control. Okay, clearance flight 
right left rudder left laps neutral 15 and we force like seat check set anti ice auto auto check recall take us off check flight controls check ground to equipment all cleared clear my side my side before taxi checklist completed checklist completed Taxi, taxi clear. Okay, ground business 6132 Golf at Regal Air request taxi runway 34 right staying in pattern information Golf. This is 6132 Golf being ground runway 34 right taxi Delta Golf. Runway 34 right Delta Golf, Cessna 32 Golf. Ground is repair, trouble 30, good afternoon, very good taxi clearance runway 34 left. Egypt Air 3330 heavy pain ground, runway 34 left, taxi via Alpha. 34 left by Alpha. Alpha to 34 left, Egypt Air uh, 3330. Right side? Right side is clear. Left side is clear. Yeah, taxi via Alpha to hold short. 34 left. Alpha 34 left. Yes. Egypt Air 3330 heavy bear by information golf. Information golf, Captain. Thank you. Smile. Ground Pepper Arrow 55610, holding short 34 right, close traffic. Air 55610, paying ground, hold position, contact our 120.2. Thank you, 120.2. Information Golf Carpet. Back to VHF okay. number one. 3011. Yep. And four times. Okay, short briefing, runway 34 left, flaps 15, the rate 1 assume 31, and the speeds are 155, 156, 161. We have flaps 15 set, and before takeoff checklist. Before takeoff checklist completed. Checklist complete. Egypt Air 3330 heavy, you can be ready upon reaching the runway. Affirmative. Affirmative, Egypt Air 3330 heavy. Egypt Air 3330 heavy, Roger, contact tower 132.95. Tower 132.95, Egypt Air 3330 heavy. 132.95. Set. Hello, Tower Egypt Air 3330 heavy, good afternoon, approach and call short, runway 34 left. Egypt Air 3330 heavy pain tower wind 240 at 5 runway 34 left clear for takeoff. 34 left clear for takeoff Egypt Air uh, 330 heavy. Clear for takeoff? Clear for takeoff 34 left. Hadra come to number second? Yes. Oh, the all lights are off. TR is set. Three four left. Three four left. Then approach and clear. Runway is clear. And we are clear for takeoff. Runway is clear. Yep. Tower nine one three Juliet Charlie as uh, just outside of Ustah. Tower nine one three Juliet Charlie Pain Tower. Yes. Runway three four left. Clear to low approach. Caution wake turbulence departing heavy Boeing seven eighty seven. 
Big low approach before left, 913 Charlie. Cars coming. Okay. Engine Engine stabilized. Take off. Thrust ref. Thrust ref. Take off power set. Thrust set. Eighty. Checked. Hold. Team Tower, follow arrow up, wind, make right traffic, runway 34. Rotate. Take off. Positive climb. Gears up. Heavy contact Seattle approach 128.5. Control pilot. Seven approach runway 5 Dubai, you should have a three zero heavy fire. Seven approach 128.5. Control pilot set. Seven approach, you should have a three zero heavy fire. Uh, Seven approach approach runway heading climate 3000. Egypt Air 3330, Seattle departure radar contact, climate maintain 15,000, 15,000. Climb power set, 15,000 set. Checked. Clear of weather. Clear of weather. Clear direct Alps for remote navigation. Uh, Alpsy. Alpsy, all navigation will from. Egypt Air 3338, permanent 15,000, direct Alpsy. Alpsy, Egypt Air 3330, heavy, thank you. Direct Alpsy. Alpsy, execute. Execute, LNAV available. LNAV, flaps 5. Speed available, 5 set. Stop climb one zero thousand. Stop climb one zero thousand. Heavy in contact Seattle Center. One at three four point nine five. Thirty four ninety five. Have a good flight. One three four nine five. Ten thousand. One three four nine five. Ten thousand. One three four nine five. Seattle Radiation Heavy. Good afternoon. Passing one thousand six hundred. Climb one zero thousand. Egypt Air 3330, Seattle Center, good afternoon. Climb and maintain, flight level 240. Climb and maintain, flight level 240, Egypt Air 3330. 240 set. 240 set, unchecked. Seattle Center, Jazz 4330, Yacht Descent, 360 for 280. Jazz 43, Seattle Center, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Layer 2 Echo, X-ray contact, Seattle, correction, Vancouver approach, 128.6. Folks, have a nice day. All right, 128.6, have a good one. Thanks help done, okay. One zero thousand lights off, seat belt sign auto. Shoulder heart is off. This is an active volcano and it still erupts. We usually do flight tests north north of this point. Yeah. 
this this way. So we've passed by the volcano many times. Egypt to 3330, climb ATF level 370. Climb level 370, Egypt to 33 and 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, American 1415, contact Seattle Center on 128.45. Have a good day. 2845, American 1415, see you. Yep. One of the great things in the uh, 787 is the head up display. It has the uh, flight path vector and the uh, guidance queue, flight director guidance queue. And it is like a pinpoint on where we're going exactly so if there are clouds ahead of us we can know we are going to hit the clouds or not if the uh, uh, flight path vectors is on the cloud then we're flying this way we're hitting that cloud Egypt there 3330 flight heading 030 vectors for military airspace uh, left heading 030 vector and for is that you better uh, heading 030 set Egypt there, 3330 heavy. Next sector will have on course. Contact Seattle Center, 128.45. Have a nice flight. 128.45, have a nice flight. Egypt there, 330 heavy. Thank you. 128.45. Radar Egypt there, 330 heavy. Good afternoon. On heading at 303 climate, 3000. Uh, Flight level 370. Rouge 1974, contact Governance Center, 13575. Good day. 3575, Rouge 1974. Take Jet 714, contact Governor, 13575, good day. 3575, West Jet uh, 714, good day. Okay, now. So we're in uh, uh, about uh, an hour or so into cruise. We're cruising now on an altitude of 39,000 feet. That is about 11, it is 11,890 meters above sea level. Uh, we're uh, overflying uh, Edmonton in Canada. Uh, we're approaching a point uh, Pigla in about uh, eight, hour, uh, eight minutes from now. As you see, very nice weather, no bumps, smooth flight. We still have about uh, nine hours and 15 minutes to land at Cairo International Airport. Uh, we expect very good weather in Cairo as well, a little bit hot. As usual, summertime, but we will enjoy it. Yeah, back to the pool and the sea. And so, uh, my name is uh, Abdel Hedi El Shakankiri. I uh, work for Egypt Air uh, since 1980, early 83, late 82. That's 37 years, almost 37 years. Yeah, in service. Uh, I'm a Boeing guy, I've been flying uh, Boeing airplanes 99% of my career. I f flew the 737-200s, uh, 707s, 747s, uh, 727s, uh, 737s again as a captain and instructor pilot as well. Uh, 777 uh, for about uh, 18 years and now my dream came true flying the Dreamliner the 787 for three months now I uh, 
my passion for flying started when I was a kid where I uh, were, traveled a lot with my father he used to fly for Egypt Air as well and the coincidence is that I traveled with him a lot on uh, 707s when he, were, he was a captain there and the co coincidence is that I flew the exact same aeroplane my father did and now um, I'm flying the Queen of the Skies, the Dreamliner 7879. Delta 2374. Hello guys, this is uh, Mohammed Gamel, first officer in uh, Egypt Airline. Uh, from about uh, 11 years, uh, I started in Egypt Air. Uh, uh, I fly uh, the 320 for uh, seven years. Then I fly the 777 uh, for the next uh, three years, and uh, now on I fly the. 787-9 Dreamliner, and I'm very happy with that. Uh, and before the, before Egypt Air, I am in the college, nothing before it, and uh, I am uh, very happy to fly the Dreamliner. Thanks, guys. So, guys, um, uh, I want to give you a little information about the uh, uh, 787 Dreamliner. Uh, 787s uh, started joining Egypt Air Fleet three months ago, and that was in uh, uh, by the air, it was end of uh, March of this year. It's replacing the uh, old Airbus 330s, and will be replacing our triple sevens that are phasing out from our fleet within the next two years. Uh, 787, the Dreamliner is. Uh, I call it the queen of the sky, very comfortable airplane for pilots and passengers. You see very big screens, all information the pilot needs is in front of him. Plus we have the head up display, the hut, where you can keep on looking out of the window and still see everything you need, get all the information you need uh, through the hut. We have state-of-the-art flight control system. Uh, we have uh, something called the cruise flaps. Flaps and ailerons and uh, uh, other flight controls keeps on moving during cru cruise uh, to increase the wing camber, so it decreases drag, increases altitude capability and reduces power, thus reducing the fuel flow. Uh, we have another state-of-the-art air conditioning system. It does not extract any bleed from the engines, so uh, engine thrust is purely thrust, no bleed extraction from the engines. The air conditioning system uh, relies on uh, cabin air compressors, electrically operated. They uh, take air from outside aircraft and the PAX does, uh, makes the rest. Uh, what is uh, unique in the 787 is the pressurization system. All other aircrafts, the cabin altitude during cruise is 8,000 feet. We have, we're, now we're cruising on 39,000 feet and we have a cabin altitude of 6,000 feet. This is very comfortable for passengers and crew. Uh, we, ha we also have humidifiers, so after a very long flight like this one we do, you arrive home fresh, as good as new. Again, what's new on the uh, 787 is the uh, FMCs, flight management computers. They are screens instead of uh, CDUs, so we, we, we use the mouse to interact with the FMC rather than pushing buttons and numbers. Communication is the same, it's a CDU push buttons, not rotating selectors as conventional aircrafts. Everything is automatic. And this is, this is the HUD projector, we have two of them, captain's and first officer's side. And this is the reflector screen, it reflects what comes out of the projector through this screen. We do sit and enjoy the weather and the sun and the moon by night.
and just monitor what it makes. So now that the sun uh, has set below the horizon, we're entering the night flying portion of this flight. Right now we're entering the Atlantic Ocean over northern Canada. And you can see this is our map. So now we're entering the Gander Oceanic uh, um, airspace. And this is Iceland. We'll be flying a little bit south of Iceland, all the way to Ireland and uh, Europe. We're entering the Atlantic Ocean over the entry point is Avuti. And this is our Atlantic crossing routing for today. It's a random route other than the uh, organized track system. And we'll be overflying those um, imaginary waypoints and then we will exit the Atlantic Ocean above uh, uh, overflying this uh, point. Uh, this is in Northern Ireland, I think. Ireland or Scotland. Scotland will be overflying Scotland. And we'll continue flying over Northern Europe, nor north of the UK, till we reach. Uh, Linz. Linz is a very important waypoint for us this flight because we will be checking our uh, altimeters for RVSM cap capabilities for this particular aircraft for the RVSM approvals and then we'll go all the way down from uh, Austria, Linz, to overfly Macedonia, Greece and then all the way down to beautiful Cairo and you can see here this is our planned arrival into Cairo airport we'll be coming from overflying the Mediterranean Sea to overfly the Egyptian Delta all the way down to Cairo and if we are lucky enough this approach will take us to overfly the Great Pyramids we have just received the clearance via data link to climb to flight level 410 we accepted the clearance and aircraft follows we're out of 39,180 feet, climbing towards 41,000 feet. The data link system, data link communication system, started uh, early 2000s. Uh, this is, there are two kinds of data link communication between the uh, aircraft and the uh, controller, the HC controls, uh, traffic control systems. One of them is automatic uh, communication. This is called ADS, Automatic Dependent Surveillance, where the controller logs on to the aircraft. It, he downloads all the flight plan from the FMC, and he knows exactly where the aircraft is going from to speed, altitude, even the settings on the MCP. This is automatic and controller logs on to the aircraft. The other part of data link communication is controller pilot data link communication. This is CPDLC. This is like messaging. 
the message system between two guys on a phone. You send him a message, you reply to the message. And this this is the, this case the pilot logs on to the ATC. This is the difference between ADS and uh, CPDLC. So hi guys again. Uh, I can explain you that flight plan. Uh, every every waypoint we have passed, we have to check it. The actual time we passed on it and the actual fuel. Now we have 52.1 tons at this position, and this is our flight plan. 52.1. It's great. Same fuel, same time. It's great. We have to check it every waypoint. Yeah. Thank you. We will remain on this Arctic light for the remainder of the night until the sun rises. It might get a little bit darker, just a little bit darker than this. Not much dark, not pitch dark. And in summertime it stays like this the whole night. So guys, now I'm going, I'm going for my break. I'll have uh, my rest now. Going back to sleep for about six hours. I'll be, I, I think you should go to sleep as well. And I'll be back an hour, an hour 15 minutes before we land. So, see you then. Hi, hello again. I hope you had a good rest. You know, it's uh, morning now, we have the sun. Actually, it didn't uh, go down just for 30 minutes, then it went up again. Captain Hadi is in his rest now and he's sleeping. And my name is Amr. And I'm here flying with Captain Tarek Zakaria. Uh, we are now over flying the uh, North Europe. Actually, Copenhagen to our left. Amsterdam to our right. And we are going through to Germany first. We still have uh, four hours more to go. Less. Three hours, 50 minutes, something. I'm captain here of the Dreamliner. Uh, I started my career since I was 16, 17 years old at the Egyptian Academy in Cairo. Then I joined Egypt Air in 1985. It's been 33, more than 33 years now. I flew as a first officer, uh, Fokker 27, 737, 767, 747. Then as a captain on the 737, Airbus 320 and 21. Airbus 300, 600, then 777 for 16 years, and now I'm flying the Dreamliner 787-9, and I'm uh, proud to be uh, attending the ceremony and the delivery of this uh, fifth aircraft to join Egypt Air 787-9 with the sustainable fuel 3070, the longest flight, historical flight. As I mentioned before, I, I flew various types, what I like about the Dreamliner, the 787, that uh, the larger screens, the hut, of course, and the uh, humidifier. They have a humidifier here that you don't feel dry and dryness after a long flight. And also the camera pressure altitude is lower than other aircraft I flew before. Uh, my name is uh, Captain Tarek Zakaria. Um, 35 years in Egypt Air. I start flying uh, when I'm uh, 18 years old. I start my study in Egypt, and um, I've flown uh, many of, uh, of types of aircrafts, like Jumbo 747 as a co-pilot, and uh, 737, three categories of 737 and 767 and also the Airbus 600 and now I'm flying the beautiful 787-9 uh, with uh, new fuel and uh, we just received the new aircraft I'm very happy it's very very good experience for me and uh, for my family also they are very happy because I'm going to deliver the aircraft to my country I hope uh, Everything is, will, will be uh, well and good for my uh, 
my company, Egypt Air. Yeah, and uh, I'm agree with uh, my colleague, Captain Amr, about the very high tech uh, technology and uh, for this aircraft and almost uh, and also the the importance of the saving of uh, fuel is uh, the thing that needs no illustration. However, it's enough for me to say that this is the most aircraft uh, saving fuel I ever seen all, all my life, and uh, also uh, the pressurization. It's very comfort for uh, for everybody here in the aircraft. Uh, our routing now is uh, we are over flying, as I mentioned before, over uh, Maastricht, which is Holland. We are going to a point called uh, Larit. This is the FIR, which is the boundary between Maastricht, Holland, Dutch, and Germany. After that. We're going to go next waypoint, will be uh, Marin. Then after that, we're going to Austria to overfly Linz. Linz is very important, it's a brand new aircraft, so we had to check our RVSM, reduced vertical separation. They have an equipment there in Linz, which they measure our altitude and they read our altimeter to check how the uh, tolerance we have, deviation. It's maximum 50 feet. Imagine we are flying at 41,000 feet, which is almost uh, 12 and a half kilometer above sea level, and the difference 50 feet, you can divide by three, so you know how much difference with all this distance. Surprise, guys, I'm back in the cockpit. I have just completed my rest time. Uh, took over from Captain Amr, my colleague. Uh, flight progress is perfect. We're on time, on route. We're now over flying Bel Belgrade. Um, we expect to arrive in two hours, six minutes from now, and we'll see you in approach, in descent and approach. Welcome back guys, now that we are approaching our top of descent, we sh should be starting our descent in about 15 minutes, so in uh, 10 minutes or so we'll do our descent briefing to my colleague Captain Tarek. Uh, we expect uh, very nice weather in Cairo, a little bit hot, 32 degrees Celsius. That's about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Northerly winds, very, very light. Sunny as usual. Beautiful Egyptian weather. Okay, Captain? Ready for briefing? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, as we took the weather, the wind is uh, 310, but by two knots. So we expect runway 05 center. Yes. For approach. This is uh, Cairo, Egypt, ILS, runway 05 center, uh, plate 11-2. The localizer frequency is 109.9, set. Set and check. Final approach course is 045. Set and check. And the uh, CAT-1 ILS minima is 642, set my side. Set my side also. Cross checked. The uh, runway elevation 382 and the airport elevation is 467. Checked. Minimum sector altitude based on uh, Charlie Victor Oscar VR is 2000 feet. Checked. Uh, we expect uh, descent to Victor's onto final approach down to 2500 feet. Yeah. We should establish the glide slope by 6.7 nautical miles. Uh, DME from uh, the ILS. And we continue to our minima. Yes. In case of uh, overshoot, we climb straight ahead. Two thousand feet. Yes. Then turn right, climbing to reach Charlie Victor Oscar VR at four thousand five hundred feet, and hold or as directed. And hold. Yes. 
Our holding pattern is standard e entry. The inbound course is two to seven, and the holding is uh, left turn. Left turn. We will use flaps 30. VRF is 133. 133. For flaps 30. Yes. V approach is 138. 138, yes. And we'll be using auto brakes 3. And this will be a delayed flaps approach and either reverse after landing. And we expect to vacate the runway to the left. Acknowledge. Any questions? No, thank you. Thank you. Recall, we have uh, electric generator off left two. Checked. Notes. We have no notes. No notes. Auto break. Three. Three. Landing data. VRF is 133 three and the minimum is 642 set both sides and cross. Set my side. Approach briefing. Completed. Completed. Descent checklist completed. Descent checklist completed. Thank you. We're now uh, overflying the uh, Mediterranean Sea. We were, were we will enter Africa, the northern African coast, Egyptian coast, over the city of Baltim. Just uh, 63 nautical miles from where we are now, ahead of us, and then we fly south over the uh, Delta, Egyptian Delta, towards Cairo International Airport. Okay. Hello, leaving. Okay. Hold. Hold. Speed via path. Check. Tunisia 5003, how do you read Cairo? He's at 757 approaching Metro Cool Athens 124625. Good morning, the squad 1641 Ident. Cairo, Stair 3330, request to go to the descent. Stair 3330, Cairo, Radar 1243, Master. <laughs> Roger, 120, Egypt 3330. Continue central table 120, set. Set and check. Contact, Victor Bridge, approach on a zero-fast center, presenting Mainer. 
قول له يا ريت بقى الهرم اقول له ممكن بعد اذنك اوكي ممكن ممكن حبيبي ده دي طياره جديده لسه مستلمينها من بوينج النهارده وان شاء الله نوصل فيها وعليها تصوير وحاجات لو في امكانيه خلينا نيجي نشوف الهرم من على شمالنا يبقى حاجه جميله جدا. تقترب فعلا لما تشوف الهرم؟ لو سمحت اه عشان في تصوير لانها طياره جديده لسه مستلمينها من بوينج وراجعين من بوينج دايركت في الكاميرا. حاضر يا فندم حاضر ان شاء الله احنا احنا هنخلي سيادتك تعمل زي ما حضرتك عايز. تخيرك. كل سؤال. Hello, guys. We have a surprise for you. We will be uh, overflying and a uh, historical place, and I will leave you to guess what is it until you see it. Triple three zero descent four thousand five hundred feet one zero zero seven. Four thousand five hundred one zero zero seven. Four thousand five hundred one zero zero seven. Unable to maintain VNF descent. Okay. Clear Speed reduction to five sir. Check. Two one zero. Two one zero. The friend said that he had to get behind it. Habibi. Hello. 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 Last flight air speed. Check. One zero zero descending. Check lights on and signal set. Check. 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 وبعد كده هناخد بقى الهرم يبقى على شمال ان شاء الله. استاذ نفسك المنطقه دي ملك حضرتك 2500 كويس؟ حلو قوي. حلو جدا هاي. اوكي 2500 فيت وقت ما سيادتك تكون جاهز للفاينل بلغت. اوكي. ثانك يو سير ثانك يو فيري ماتش داون 2500 اند كول يو باك وين وي ريد. نعم العفو ما فيش اي حاجه خالص ده 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 اولا شيء جميل ان تجينا طياره جديده. وشيء اجمل يكون في تصوير وعايزين نعمل قدر المستطاع كل الدعايه الممكنه. ان شاء الله. كل الدعايه. شكرا. سودان 103 ريدر 153 الف سلام. 153 الف سلام. حاضر. 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 To uh, circle around and show you whatever we want you to see. So be ready. See the River Nile.
Cabin ready. Cabin ready, checked. So if you look a little bit to the left, at the beginning of the desert, you'll see the great pyramids of Giza. We will circle around and then we'll go back to Cairo Airport. Great views. 1000 to level. Those are the three great pyramids of Giza. Down there, this uh, huge building is the biggest museum in the world. It will be open uh, uh, late this year. Speed out. Speed all checked. لا لا we're ready for left turn we're ready for left turn Still did see them. Flaps one. Flaps one. Flaps one. Okay, keep turning to 3330. Can you tell me what's going on? Flaps 5. Flaps 5. 5. Selected. 12 miles.
2500. Check. Check. Glass top alive. Glass top alive. Flaps 20. Speed available. 20 selected. Glass top capture lampo. overshoot altitude. 4500. 4500 set. Check. Fifteen hundred, gears down. Gears down. Cycle seatbelt. Land three, roll out and flare. Check. Flaps thirty. Thirty. Speed available. Thirty flaps down. And landing checklist. Speed break. 1000. Landing checklist completed. Checklist completed. 1000 stabilized. Alright, correct. Shallow one. Check the GPS for the flap car. Tow road short flap. Short short the GPS for short flap. Manual flight. Flight direct. 400. Approaching minimums. 300. Minimums. Visual contact continue. 200. Landing, inshallah. Speed break. Reverse green. Manor breaks. Clear three 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 zero. Bucket left tango five. Sign contact one two zero. Tango five first left. One two zero four. Yes. Ground control. Three 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 zero. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. Salam alaikum. 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 Salam Roger, uh, Sierra, Sierra 2, Yankee, stand number 336, Sierra 2, Sierra Yankee.
There, this uh, huge building is the biggest museum in the world. It will be open uh, uh, late this year.
would be 500.
Fahrrad fährt schlecht. Sierra 2, Sierra Yankee, stand 336. Okay, Sierra 2, next right. Next ride, Sierra, Sierra 200 Sierra. Then Yankee. Yeah. Sierra 2, Sierra Yankee, stand 336, there it is. Tamam. Awul Wahida? Yes. لا مفيش حاجة right side clear Yankee Tax line. <coughs> Tax line. Off. Marsh inside. It's okay. Register 3330, Marsh inside. Alhamdulillah, Salam Khan. Shukram. Follow me three hundred miles, but inshallah, we have the center line on six two zero one. Inshallah, the hazard is at the end. Inshallah, we are in trouble. Inshallah.
APU running, parking brake set, APU running, engine shut down, right engine, left engine, beacon off, 